Hey guys, just like really quick before the video starts, I'm actually in editing right now and I think at the very beginning I was freaking holding the microphone, like I was covering the microphone with my hand um, for like the first minute and a half while I was filming. So please ignore that like a little bit of shitty audio at the very beginning. Uh, it gets really better after like the minute and a half, like two minute mark. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a completely amazing day. And today's video is kind of going to be a quick little workstation art studio room tour. And originally I was not going to film this, like I was torn because I feel like this is kind of an awkward and weird concept for a video. Like I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they're kind of awkward to film, or at least I thought it would be. But then I was watching a few of them on YouTube and I found them so effing entertaining. Like, they were so entertaining. So I wanted to film one of my own since I feel like they're helpful and you can kind of see where the artist kind of does their work and you can kind of hear about the materials and their filming setup and stuff. So I decided I would go through my room and kind of show you guys where I film, how I film, all that good stuff. But then also show you kind of like my room in general and what my day-to-day -day life looks like while I'm working in here. And just two quick things really quick. Uh, it is storming outside right now. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. I don't think there's any right now. But if you hear thunder during the video, that is what it is. It's just outside loudness. <laughs> We've had storms for the, for the last couple days, so filming has been kind of annoying. But um, yeah, that that's happening out there. And then also, um, just as a disclaimer, I'm not trying to show off or anything. I just thought you guys might be curious since I do find these videos really, really interesting and I love seeing what artists do in their studio and stuff. So I hope this helps some of you and um, all the supplies I have, I either saved up and bought myself or they were gifts from like Christmas or my birthday or anything. I've been collecting art supplies for a pretty long time now, so I do have a bit of supplies. And then all of the art on the walls is my own art, so as you can see they're pretty like full. But yeah, um, let's get into this little tour and I will start in one corner and just work my way around and hopefully this won't take too long because it is freaking muggy in my room right now and there's no fan on. I don't want to turn the fan on since I don't want to screw up the audio or anything. But since it's so hot, hopefully I don't like melt, but um, I'm going to try to do this kind of quick. And also, I hope I don't drop my camera, because I've done that before, and I don't know how it survived so long. But, um, okay, onto the tour. So, this is the door into my room. I have it closed just to keep noise at, like, the lowest possible. I don't know what the word is. But yeah, I'm trying to, like, reduce as much noise as possible by closing that door. And then I have this little, like, hanger thing, and I have just a hoodie hung up on it. And then the first piece of art I have hanging up in my room is this, like, self-portrait. Uh, it looks pretty blue on camera, but it's actually just like monochromatic with a little bit of color in the moths and in the hair. I don't know if this video has gone up yet, um, but yeah, that's the new self-portrait. I think it goes up probably around the same time this is going to go up. And that I did, like I finished it yesterday on the day I'm filming it, so. And this is pretty new and I just chose to hang it up here since I want it to dry and I have dogs and cats in my house and I've had cats walk across wet paintings. Oh god, I just hit the camera. <laughs> I've had cats like walk across wet paintings and shed all over wet oil paintings. So I'm just letting this kind of chill and pray that nothing gets on it. But yeah, that's the piece of art in my room at the beginning. And then this is the first little corner. This is a dresser I've had since I was like a freaking fetus. And then that's like paper that I used to package prints and a little trash bin but yeah this is kind of like my little succulent strawberry garden and it's pretty new i've only had it for maybe a month and a half and i have a few friends who do succulent growing and stuff like that so i borrowed some leaves well i took some leaves from them um and i'm propagating them to make my own and i had these leaves and they're all kind of like sprouting like as you can see like the sky is sprouting like i'm growing these succulents and hoping that i can kind of green I can put more green in my room, you know, since I really do love plants, I wish I could make more of them. And I never thought I really had a green thumb, but I'm trying. And yeah, I'm growing these strawberry plants. I have a jade plant right there. And then the cactus that's not doing very well, he's like dying. But then I have all these little baby ones that are doing pretty well. Come on, focus. Yeah, those guys are doing really well too. But yeah, this is my little succulent corner. 
There's my phone. And then these are just like empty jars that I used to like hold paint thinner and stuff. And a spray bottle, an empty pot, retainer. <laughs> and then I have like stuff over there and stuff. So, oh, and then this egg carton I have up to keep the light from this to interfere, from interfering with like the speed paints over here. And then I have this on the wall over here as well. And this is my recent painting I did from my collab with Mini Sea Star, and it's kind of like a drowning elf character. Uh, I'll put all the speed paints for these things down below in the description if you are interested. But yeah, I have that piece of art on the wall, that piece of art, and then that's my little garden corner again. And then hold on. I'm and then this is the next like area of my room, and this is where I actually do all of the filming that I do for the channel. And firstly, that's like my closet. I don't use it. It's like completely covered by like tables and stuff and lights. So I never open it and it's kind of just like a bottomless mess. <laughs> so I don't mess with that ever, but I'll, prob I'll probably clean it out eventually. I'm not going to open it and show you guys because again, it's n nasty and messy. And I think it's just like packaging stuff like cardboard and like old blankets and stuff from when I was a kid and stuff. So all that's in there. And then on the wall, a picture of little fetus David, oh my god. <laughs> I think I won an art contest when I was like in elementary school and that was like the award or whatever, it was a medal, it was something stupid. And then this is a print of a painting I did for my aunt that's in Scotland and it has a purple tint over it, it's usually black and white. Um, but yeah, that's a print that I did of a painting that I did a while ago, it was like last year. And then this is the painting I did from the Paint This Again Challenge, which I uploaded my first one, I think it was last year. And um, yeah, that's that painting. It's an acrylic painting on canvas. And those are both um, acrylic and oil paintings on panel. And this is a print that I did of another repaint challenge, and it was just a quick little digital painting. It's, it wasn't quick, it took way, way too freaking long. But um, yeah, that's another print some digital art so yeah that's that art right there and then back there I have my second most recent self-portrait and an old drawing I did with just Crayola and Prismacolor pencils I think and then on to the good stuff this is my kind of setup for painting and filming and I'm gonna try to break apart this like area and tell you guys about each thing and firstly um, hopefully it's staying focused and stuff but this drafting table is where I do all of my filming and as you can see it's like pretty freaking messy because I like splatter paint and stuff on it and I got this drafting table from Hobby Lobby I believe and um the only reason I was able to get it really was because it was super marked down because it was all broken up and messed up and it's still pretty like wobbly and stuff and I kind of fixed it up and made it work but yeah I got it like super cheap like 20 or 30 dollars like it was such a good deal so I had to get it, and this is where I do all the filming and stuff. And then I just decided to display a little mixed media pad of paper that I need to use. And then this is my makeshift watercolor palette. It's just like a plate. And then here is my watercolor set. Um, you guys have seen it. I don't need to open it up. I don't think I can do it with one hand. But yeah, those are my watercolors. That's my drafting table. And then how I film is my dad and brother are musicians. So they had a bunch of leftover like band equipment. And this is actually just like a mic stand, and um, as you can see I have it weighed down with like a bunch of books I'm not using, like a dictionary and the Bible. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it kind of balanced, but yeah, I don't have a tripod or anything, I'm just using a mic stand, and I don't know how easy those are to come by, but with my situation it was super easy to find one since again, I have a lot of musicians in my family, so I was able to get one for free and just be able to use it as a tripod. And then I bought this little camera handle thing on Amazon. It was super super cheap and it just screws into the bottom of my camera and I can kind of just tilt it onto the drafting table at whatever angle I need it to be and then I usually flip the film, the footage in editing. And I would show you my camera but I'm filming with it so I'll just put the link to, well I'll just like put the information about it in the description down below and I'll try to put a lot of information in the description for you guys as well. 
And then one of my main tips I usually give to a YouTuber or artists that are starting out and want to make videos or just take pictures of their art or do art in general is to invest in some good lighting. And one of the things I really wanted to do when I started out was to make sure I had decent lighting for my videos. And not only just for my videos, but also for art in general, because I like to work in the night a lot and it's super, super dark in my room. Like without this light turned on, it's like, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so I invested in these lights and these came from one of Bailey J's videos that she did a long time ago, an old workstation tour. And I got them pretty cheap on Amazon. I forget what they're called. I'll try to put a link down below if I can, but they were a great investment and they make the videos look really, really awesome. So I totally recommend getting some really nice lighting above anything that you could possibly get for filming, since especially for speed paints or makeup tutorials or whatever you wanna do, I feel like lighting is the most important and it really changes how the video looks, especially if it's nice, either daylight or nice soft white lighting. So yeah, I got these on Amazon and they're just two like little umbrella lights and then I have the bulbs that I bought and those keep the videos all nice and lit. And then down here is where all the magical supplies are. And these are just a few acrylic paints and oil paints that I have. Oh my God, just trust me, this is not what it looks like usually. <laughs> it's usually a complete mess. I have stuff on the floor. I have stuff like freaking all over the table. I have stuff on the bed. Like I have, ev I have stuff everywhere usually. So, and I feel like that's the way with most of these things. Like I feel like artists are always pretty messy, but then they make their art station look like, oh, I just hit my leg, ow. <laughs> but um, I feel like they usually like um, make their studio look extra, extra nice for videos. So I of course had to do that because I don't want to show you guys like my usual like pigsty of a room. But um, this is the supplies. And then these are Gamblin 1980, oh, <laughs> these are Gamblin 1980 oil colors. I just have a couple. Well, I think those are all of them. I have a Winter Newton oil paint color too. But yeah, those are my oil paints and I made them all nice like a rainbow. And then I have just a tube of Liquitex Basics purple paint. And then here are all of my brushes and rule. there's a ruler and stuff. And then here are my mediums. So Gamzol from Gamblin and then Galkid and Galkid Light from Gamblin. And then that's like some jars, not jars, but like little cups of paint thinner that I need to put in a bigger jar. And then I use these like little glass dishes to hold the mediums and stuff like that. And I mix all the paint, usually on like an old picture frame glass or an old plate or something, just something that I don't really care about um, that could get messed up. But yeah, I put the mediums in those little dishes. And then those are just some acrylic paints, again, just laid out to look all pretty and stuff. Um, usually it's, again, a complete mess. And all down there, you can see all of my acrylic paint tubes and stuff like that. It's a bunch of random brands, like super, like, oh. are you serious? Oh my God, what am I doing? Camera. What did I just do? Okay, it zoomed in. <laughs> but yeah, that's what my room usually looks like, like expectation versus reality and it's not even focusing kill myself okay hold on i'll just leave that there for now but um moving on yeah those are my <laughs> acrylic paints those are some oils those are all the acrylic paints i have kill myself they're all over the floor I'll have to clean that up and then down here i have my aqua brush oh my god i'm the worst and then i have um a swatch with all the watercolors that i have let me get this yeah that's there and I have cactus soil for the succulents, a bunch of old sketchbooks, and I think that's an Inktober binder that has all of the art from Inktober in it, and just some scrap paper for swatching stuff out. And then moving over, um, I have a water bottle here, and then I have a, an electric pencil sharpener, these amazing iridescent Dr. Phil Martins, well, Dr. P.H. Martins, I don't know what it's called. It's just iridescent orchid ink, and it's awesome, and I love it. And then some masking tape for taping off the edges of paintings. Um, let me turn on this light too. And then this is where I keep all of my colored pencils, whether they're Prismacolor or Crayola, all of my Copic markers, highlighters, Sharpies, anything like that I find here. And it's color coded, like color, oh my God, what's the freaking word? I swear, color sorted, I sorted it by color. So there's like red stuff, yellow stuff, green stuff, blue stuff. 
um, purple stuff, pink stuff, all that good stuff. <laughs> and I have just my few little coping markers in here and an X-Acto knife. And yeah, that's where I keep all of my colored pencils and stuff like that. I have to focus. I have to like keep everything in frame. I keep like swaying a little bit. So I'm going to try to be a little bit better with my camera skills. And then... Uh, so moving on from that like mess of an area, I have messy wires and stuff. I have like a battery charger for the camera, iPhone charger, a bunch of like extension cords for the lights and stuff. But yeah, those are all my cords. They're, they're really messy and horrible, I know. And then let me move this chair out of the way. This is just like a rolly mat. I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a little floor mat. I don't really need one since it's a hardwood floor but I think it looks cool, so I leave it. And then on the wall over here, um, I have an old palette. Oh, everything looks really blue. Hold on. Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I have a print of an old piece of art I did right there, um, a Bob Ross-inspired painting right there, a watercolor artwork I did last year, and then some acrylic paintings I did last year as well. And then there's one back there. And then here are two work in progress pieces I'm working on, and they're both acrylic and oil on wood panel. And then I have some headphones that I use for editing, and those are the lips from the last video. And I have a tablet that I do digital art on, it's just an iPad, and a card from a bookstore that I liked. And then that's a portable charger for my iPhone for when I'm traveling. And, then and now down, um, well down over here, I have this little like rolly cart that I got from Big Lots, I think. Um, and in here I have a bunch of old art, like old nasty acrylic paintings that I did a while ago, and some palettes that I need to use. Oh, got paint on myself, of course. And then some old paintings I don't like, and some old sketchbooks that are full. Just a bunch of old stuff in there. And then I have some tins that pencils came in and stuff and some prints in this drawer nothing too exciting i just got paint on that too oh my god i'm dead and then some sandpaper and that's another pad of acrylic paper and then what's down here oh my god that won't open but down there i think it's just more old sketchbooks like this is mainly just like old stuff in this like little rolly thing and then moving over I have this completely amazing purple magical tree tapestry that is over my computer and I got it off Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It is like my favorite thing in the entire freaking room. I love it. It looks so magical and awesome and it kind of just grows out from the computer and it's inspiring and I love it and it kind of makes the room feel really complete I think. And then moving on to the actual desk itself. Let me see if I can brighten it up. There we go. Um, this is just a Samsung monitor that I use to edit my videos on and play PlayStation on. And I have just a light-up keyboard that I got a long, long time ago, along with this light-up mouse that I got a long time ago as well. And then I have an SD card reader and a hard drive, and then the PS4, and then my ancient computer. Um, and then I have a couple knickknacks from, like, different places I've gone. And then over here, I have a freaking... Daenerys Targaryen and Sylvanas Windrunner pop like figures. I used to play a bunch of World of Warcraft when I was younger. So I have two World of Warcraft figures of my favorite character and then I have this Game of Thrones figure because Game of Thrones is amazing and she's missing a leg because I'm bad with stuff that I have. <laughs> and then I have a painting of I Has Cupcake that I did last year. I think it was late last year. And then I have that sketch that I did recently in a frame just behind the computer because I have nowhere to hang it right now. I have to get more nails. But yeah, I have old art. Well, not old art, but like, I have art back there. And then I have a print of the digital painting I did of my favorite singer, Hana, um, underneath the glass on my desk just to have it there and to keep it safe since I really, really like it. And I try to make prints of all of my digital art so I have it, I have like a hard copy of it since I like having like actual, like, 
physical copies of stuff. So yeah, I have this copy of my Hana painting, and then I have a stapler, and then mainly in this desk I have just like old games, like here's Skyrim, an old um, like USB cord, and then some boxes from stuff I have, and then I think down here it's more like, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> like some old art that I did a long time ago in like elementary school. I'll have to make a video where I show you guys like a bunch of old art. I think that would be kind of fun. It's a bunch of like old storybooks I wrote and some old art from elementary school still. Those are some notes from school and a broken pair of headphones. And I think over here I just have more like, yeah, more like cords and stuff. Nothing too exciting guys, I swear. Oh, here are some games for the PlayStation that I have, like Dying Light. Overwatch, which is like my favorite game ever. I love Overwatch. Tomb Raider, stuff like that. And then what's down here? Um, just old sketchbooks still. Nothing too exciting, I swear. I thought this was gonna be more interesting, but that desk is pretty lame. But yeah, that's where I do my editing, and that's my computer. And then the first wall of art. And then there's the workstation and the succulent. Corner. Oh, and then I have this tree light thing that I got from Hobby Lobby 2. It was marked down. So it's kind of dying. Like, the lights are pretty dull. But I freaking love it. And I think it really makes the room feel magical and enchanting, like how I want it to be. And mainly the only theme I had for my room was just purple. <laughs> like, purple is my all-time favorite color. So everything I have, I tried to make, I tried to make, like, as purple as possible. So the theme is mainly just, like, purple and then fantasy so it's basically if you took my art and made it into a room it would be my room um and then this little table I don't know how long this is taking hopefully it's not too long I hope it's not too long and I hope it's kind of interesting but um this table right here has an incense burner some varnishing materials for varnishing paintings I think in there I have like a tape dispenser and stuff and a calculator for when I have to suffer through like pre-calculus which is completely horrible and yeah, I have this incense burner here, some more artworks in frames, a purple D for David, <laughs> and some artificial flowers just right there to help, I can tie in more plants into my room. I wish they were real, but I kill a lot of things. And then I have some paintings right over here. That is my Aurora oil painting, and that is my acrylic and oil fantasy deer painting that I finished and that's drying right now so it's kind of I'm praying none of the cats can even mess with it and I'm hoping nothing will get on it but yeah that's right there and I have a few more other things on this wall I have a print of that painting over there I have the original purple fairy drawing I did earlier this year along with the satyr one and then this is my entry for failed artist contest that I did last year I believe and it's an acrylic painting on a 6x12, I think, um, a panel, or it's 8x16, it's something like that. And then, I'm gonna get on the bed. <laughs> and then this is a piece I'm working on right now. It's a massive oil and acrylic painting on canvas. Um, I don't know when the video is gonna be up. Hopefully kinda soon. Oh, everything looks super blue. I apologize for that, like bluishness. I'll have to try to fix it in editing. But yeah, that's a work in progress and that is a drying. And then yeah, more old art. And then over here I have um this is just another tapestry I got and some frogs of course. Uh <laughs> this is an older tapestry I got a while ago for Christmas. And yeah, that's the tapestry I have over my bed. I just have my bed with just some random Ikea, um, like, sheets on it. <laughs> and then down here, underneath my bed, let me get on the floor, I have this little pull-out drawer, which has a bunch of canvases and panels, and this is a blank, like, bass guitar. Like, um, what, what would I call it? Like a blank bass guitar, like, face that I'm going to paint, I hope. And a bunch of, like, again, more old art. And then underneath my bed, I have the box for the PlayStation. Oh my God. My cat's down here. Hi, baby. Oh my God, I'm dead. Don't touch my paintings. I swear to God, if I have a furry painting after this video, I'm gonna cry. And then um, in that box, I have more old sketchbooks. Hi. And then that is the box my 
um, studio lights came in. And yeah, so that's canvases, that's old sketchbooks, that's a cat, that's varnishing, some shoes, my bed, some art. Oh my god, I suck at this, I swear. I'm sorry if this is completely horrible. I'm trying. And then the last little part of my room, I just have this, again, light up tree. This massive Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night, like, poster thing. It's like an art print. It has, like, the real, like, it has a really cool paint texture. If you can see it, I can't tell if you can see it or not. It has a really cool, like, canvasy texture. So yeah, I have that print, and then I have, like, shoes and my school bag for when school starts up again. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much, like, the main tour of it. I hope I did a decent job. Oh, and then really, really quick, I have these amazing, like, LED purple and blue lights hanging above my, um, room. Hold on, let me turn off these lights so you can see them. Hold on, Toby. Uh... But yeah, see them? Isn't that sweet? I'm obsessed with them. I got these right after Christmas because they had a big sale and all the LED lights were on sale. And I just strung them up over my ceiling and I think they, again, just make the room more magical and they give the entire room kind of a purple tint almost. So, you know, it really helps with, with like the purple theme and all that good stuff. And I think that's honestly about it, you guys. I hope you guys liked this little studio tour. I hope it wasn't too like horrible to watch. I hope you guys kind of learned something. I'll put more information about stuff in the description down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to join my art family. I freaking just hit 500 subscribers. So I will be doing a 500 subscriber art contest very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that video. I'm pretty sure I'll announce it when I finish that painting, if it focuses, which it will not. Hold on. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Kill myself. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, it'll be up when I finish that painting. And yeah, I think that is about it. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you all in a future video. Bye, guys.